I guarantee you at the end of this video, you'll be playing like this. Yo, my name is Kurt, and today I'll be breaking down my clips to help you guys gain an advantage in every fight. If you guys enjoyed this video at any moment, please drop a like or a comment, as it helps the algorithm push my channel to more players that may be needing these tips. Thank you, I hope you guys all enjoy, and learn something. Okay, before I go over the fights, I'm just gonna let them play out first so you guys can see the flow. What you doing, bro? So I'm not going to go too in-depth on how I was clearing Fortress, that's no new technology. Everyone knows how to clear a building in this game, but what I want to do highlight is how I played this once I figured out there was two PMCs. One thing I want you guys to leave with this video is how squads play off of each other. We'll get to that in a sec, but as I'm clearing the first floor, I caught a glimpse of the PMC with the MCX by the entrance, and once we exchanged shots, I knew I could grab space as he backed up to the outside portion of Fortress. This is where I noticed there was another in the bunk bedroom. This fight didn't last long though, as they made the mistake of trying to shoot the light out as I was facing them, which was a free kill for me. I knew as soon as I got this initial kill though, the MCX player will swing me trying to get the trade, as most squads play off each other's contact. I was then able to swing him knowing he was sprinting in and not able to aim back, and I hit a nice flick headshot on him. This clip isn't anything special, it's just a quick 1v2, but I do want to highlight how I used this grenade's audio to break this one player's audio. Now with this clip, I was able to cut these players off first. If you're ever in this situation and you hear sprinting towards Fortress, there's a good chance it's PMCs. Once I got the first kill, I saw he had tossed a nade, so I used this to my advantage and flanked right, knowing that when the nade blew up, the other player would have zero audio at all, because the grenade blast blocks the audio occlusion. As you can see, I was right because this kid was lost, so I wrapped back knowing we were both going to be pre firing the same angle. Luckily, I was better and got shots off first due to the peeker's advantage. So again, this is just another simple 1v2. This ties into how squads play off each other, and as soon as I got this initial cheeky kill, I would have the other swing me and make an attempt to gain space and be killing his teammate. Unfortunately, this kid did a very predictable swing and just kind of ran on me. I do not recommend doing this, especially when you're going for setup. It doesn't really work that well. This is going to be a dorms three-piece, and I want to make note of how I swapped to each target one by one without letting anybody flank me.
Okay, so at the start of this clip, I hear three different audio cues. I hear a guy to my left at the two-story elbow. I hear a guy first story elbow, and I hear a guy on my right on metal. So I know I've got three different people at three different spots in dorm. So I'm just going to hold my initial angle. I thought I killed him there, but PP is bugged. This, this bullet sucks. But anyways, side support. Go upstairs, pack a bag, and just listen. When I come down the stairs, I want to make sure I clear my left and right before I commit to anything. I see nobody right, and I hear Grizzly medkit to my left, so I'm gonna swing this. Now, if you ever hear glass break first story right at the entrance, it's probably because somebody walked next to the window. It's kind of bugged. If you walk next to it, it breaks it. So I pick up an easy headshot of the guy on the hallway and the guy in the doorway. So right here, I'm just gonna pre-fire this and then shoot out the light to mask my audio when I push. So this kid only hears my last like five footsteps until I'm in his face. Quick little shameless plug, all of this was recorded live on Twitch. Desmond Palak and No General definitely inspired me to make content on Tarkov. So now we're here. That's a dude. Not a dude, it's a weird shadow. Human shaped shadow. It's a Reese T guy or a Vulcan. They got me. <gasps> GG. Alright, starting out this clip, I want to emphasize on how important crosshair placement is in Tarkov or any FPS game in general. If I weren't head level aiming already, I would have lost this fight 100 out of 100 times. Always aim head level when expected to be swung. Now, I heard multiple sets of footsteps, so I'm gonna bait my retreat and re swing out until this kid falls for it and wide swings the left hand. Oh, they got me. I hear him click on his flashlight, which was a dead giveaway that he was about to swing me with his light on. So I pre fired with head level crosshair placement and picked up two easy geared PMC kills. So in this clip, I thought it was just a regular 1v1. I knew he had to swing the left hand as that's the only angle he can peek from, so I picked up an easy kill here. Whenever you have the opportunity to clear your area of play as much as possible, you should take that. As I'm clearing it, I see another PMC, which ended up being his teammate, lacking behind him, pulling up. So when I break line of sight with him, I wanted to free look and see if he was still standing still in the open. I saw that he was and used that to do a 180 and keep my momentum and swing him. It is a very unpredictable swing and it catches most PMCs off guard. Also, all these red containers or blue containers that you see on maps, you can shoot through them. Most of them are all just completely wall bangable. End of the story, just play like there's always one more around. Yo boys, I hope you guys learned something in this video. If you did, please let me know what you guys felt was like the best tip I gave. Also, let me know if you guys want more of this. In the future, by leaving a like and a comment, it really helps me out. Again, thank you guys all for the immense support as of recently. We are closing in on 1,000 subs and also 1,000 followers over on Twitch. I cannot thank you guys enough. You guys are all amazing. Seriously.